Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Fishing with Calvin, and it's a few days before Christmas, and we're gonna try and catch some crappie today. Uh, perfect time of the year. It's winter time. They're gonna be out deep, and you just gotta finesse them a little bit. So it's a little windy out today, and we're at one of my favorite lakes, Augusta Lake, and they got some, they got a lot of crappie in this lake. So hopefully we can catch them, and maybe even do, and that wins, and maybe even do a catch and cook for you guys. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, we just gotta find these crappie. I think if we get the minnow. Jig right in front of their face. They'll eat it. It's just a matter of finding them. Finding where they're at, what, what the depth, all that stuff. Okay, guys. Spot number two, I need to count. Operation Go, catch some fish. back up in this creek. But today I can. This is dried up a little bit. Hopefully it's a crappie or a bass or something. It's backed up in here. Or a bunch of sticks. Please let there be some fish under here in this creek. Be so sick. Should be stacked up in this little pool. Oh, man. oh, I caught one. That's cool. Let's go. I had several bites, and it keeps going down. Where at? In the middle. Over here under the tree that you. Nice. Here, hold it and I'll go get the bus. That's cool, guys. It's a nice crappie. Not bad. So we get it. Nice. Uh, put him back. Put him back. Okay, guys, I switched to the bobber setup. My mom's catching them on minnows. So it's like. Just nose hook them. Get them throw. Yep, there's one. There's one, guys. Yep, finally. Oh, just a large mouth. Yep. It's cool, though. It's... Alright, just a little one, guys. He's gone back. We're back in this creek and we're actually finally on the bite that we wanted. It's freezing out, but we're getting fish. That's what matters. So we got 
stick it out here for as long as we can and hope the bites keep coming. Get back to fishing. There's one, guys. There's one. There's one. I only got one hand. Oh, he popped off. I only had one hand. What is up everybody? It's day two, a lot colder than yesterday. Uh, the cold front just rolled through. So now it's about 40, 40 degrees, something like that. And then we're back at the creek. We know where they're at now, so now we just gotta catch them. I feel like I'm gonna explore the creek more today. I didn't fish the whole thing. So that's the plan today. And hopefully we can get on some bites, get on some fish. So, be on the chesty now. Oh. Okay, so quick. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, something's taking it. Yep, something's taking it. There we go. It's coming. It. Going down. I should have let him eat it more. Ooh. It's a bass. Oh, is that a bass or a crappie? It looks like a bass to me. It's fighting like a bass. This dude's like, what the heck just happened? Oh. 
Ooh, that's a good one. All right, guys, we're back at the house now. Uh, got the crappie right here in this bucket, as you can see. Uh, killed him the best way I can, humanely and quickly. And so now I did that all off camera because I didn't want you guys to see that in YouTube. Probably want me to. But for right now, we're just going to uh, scale these fish and fillet them. So let's get started. It might take a while. The sucky thing about this is that I do not have a scaler. So we're just going to be using this little spoon right here. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I just put them on the cutting board. And Okay guys, I'm just going to put you guys in time lapse because it's going to take a while. I went and grabbed the fillet knife, and so now we just gotta flip the fillet them up. I'll show you guys the first one, and then we'll just run through a time lapse. So now, go right behind the fin, and then, I know it looks like he's alive, but he's not, trust me. So you just go right behind the gills, push it in a little bit. So now, once you get to the, what's it called? Oh, push the other way, man. It's nice, nice, is, knife is nice and sharp. And then once you get to the, I forgot what it's called. Bone? It's a type of bone, I forgot. All right, once you get to that bone, then you just, this is my first time flaying the fish, guys, so bear with me. And then now, you just go like this. I'm not doing bad. Probably should have got it in first. I did not think about that. That sucks. I forgot to get it. You do not want to. Okay, there we go. Yeah, nice, good piece of meat. Don't want to waste much. I know I'm not showing you guys much, but. So now, look at that good piece of meat. All the way to the tail. And voila. There's not a whole lot of meat on there. I cut it down a little bit better, but for the first time, this isn't bad. So. It's not bad, guys. So now we we'll just go back to and do it the other on the other side. You, you want the skin on this or no? Yeah, the skin. Okay, you probably want to cut out this part. Just this little piece. This is not the part you want to be eating. There's the little piece of meat right there. Uh, it's not a bad filet. All right, now that we got this filet right here, guys, now I just gotta put it in this ice 
meat bath. That'll preserve the meat for when we're ready to put in the freezer. So, all right, just like that, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. lost a little bit of meat on that one uh, that's not the best job we'll just cut a little bit off cut a little bit off this just to save some of the meat bones right there All right. All right, just a little bit of meat we can save And then now, now I got this off. But yeah, I cut this. Not sure what it's called, but this little piece right here off the off the meat. You don't want to be tasting that. All right, just like that. There's your fillet. We'll wash it off later in the house. But here's the kind of just flayed version in the frozen water it goes. Putting the flays in a bag now so I can put them in the freezer so that way they're still good for tomorrow. Clean, fresh, crappie fillets going in the bag and tomorrow cook them and then ultimately eat them. This is the first time I've ever cooked, done this whole process, catch, clean, cook. It's definitely a long process. We're getting it done though. I'm really not a big fan of this catch, clean, cook thing, because I'm more a catch and release guy. But every now and then it's fun to catch a few crappie and cook them up or catfish or something like that. That's a huge fly. Kind of nice one on the creek today. So that's all the meat. Inside now, put them in the freezer, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey right, guys, got all the stuff set up. We got the butter, we got the crappie, and now we just gotta get started. Turn on the grill. Yeah, nice. Medium heat. And I'm gonna do two flays since I'm just eating. This is just me eating tonight. Slice through that. Eating tonight. Butter. I don't like using oil. It just seems natural to me to use butter. That's for like all things I cook. Alright, got the two crappie fillets. Got 
the butter is melting real nice. Got a spatula here. And we're just gonna throw any of these flays on here. Just one little piece of filet. Let me get this butter spread out around the pan. Should be a no stick pan. Still wanna make it good anyway. Get nice buttered up. There we go. It should cook though. And here's a little bit bigger piece of filet. Going on the grill. We're not going to be cooking a whole lot tonight, but just wanted to get enough to show you guys this catch and cook video. Show you guys how I cook it. Hopefully it tastes good. What I'm just gonna add, what I'm gonna use some cilantro, some lemon pepper. Better hurry. Well, that's still cooking. Lemon pepper for the first fillet. I'm gonna do two different fillets. Uh, cilantro leaves on both of them, and then on the other fillet is some magic seasoning blend. Oh, uh, I I use it for a lot of my meat items it's it's not bad so we'll just do, and then we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper and we'll see which one tastes better oh snap put a whole lot of pepper on there or seasoning on that one shoot all right now one pepper the crappie you really don't need to add a whole lot of seasoning because they they're actually just they're na they naturally taste good when we we're uh, catching them out of the crappie spawn when they were you could catch a whole bunch of them like you really all you have to add is salt and pepper but I'm gonna do a little bit extra today so. And when I was playing these fish, I realized that oh, that uh, so the, I was playing some of the rib bones in with the fillet. So hopefully it's okay. Get nice cooked through all the way. Get a little plate. It doesn't take too long to cook, just put it on the stove. Plate out. Add just a tiny bit of salt and pepper while I'm at it. If I can find it. Done with the seasoning. Now we just gotta let it cook all the way through. Should be nice and flaky. Looks like it's in there.
definitely don't want it raw. Put this nice and good. It's looking good already. Like I said, you don't have to do much crappie. They just naturally taste good. One of the best eating freshwater fish there is. Tell you what, those don't look half bad. Alright guys, it's now time to see if anything that I cooked is edible. So it looks really, really, really good. So we're gonna see how this tastes. Could have been a little bit more flaky. I may have take, taken it out too early, but here, let's take the first bite here. This is the lemon pepper, I think. So. Dude, that was really good. That was really, really good. Uh, it's a little cold, that's for sure, but it's really good. And so now, it's a... The taste, I think I may have ruined it with the lemon pepper, but the crappie still makes it taste good. And then now, it's time for the uh, Magic Mike sea seasoning or something, something like that. I don't remember what it was called, but. That's even better like 10 times better and that's the one I was kind of worried about because I put a lot lot more seasoning on but it tastes really good though so I think this concludes the video the crappie catch clean cook I really had a blast filming this for you guys hope you guys enjoyed it just taking a break from bass uh, just till the beginning of this uh, 2021 because I really want to hit them hard and I got a surprise for you guys uh, that you guys will figure out later in 2021. Big surprise. And so, I really want to save bass for the new year. And then we'll start trying to catch some really big bass. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next fishing adventure. <laughs>